What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And let me keep this this narrative going, this news stream going, because I believe, like I've said, 2022 was going to be a pivotal year. And if you've been following along with this channel, you're starting to see a lot of the things start crumbling down. I've been presenting the information. And what's happening with Canada the Justin Trudeau could have decided to just end the mandate and stop, you know, and, and go along with what the people are saying, right? But instead, he decides to invoke the Emergency Act against the people. And that's creating a lot, a lot of turmoil. And he, remember in the video I presented yesterday, uh, who was it? The prime minister's, um, I, I forget the title of the individual. Essentially, though, he said that if you were associated with, like, you know, Trump or whatever, if you're a supporter and you uh, had donated or whatever, I would be concerned about my bank account. That That's what he said. Or he said people should be concerned about their bank account if that was the case. Essentially, it's setting precedent because no one, no leader in the Western world is calling out Canada for what they're doing, which means they agree with what they're doing. And at some point or another, it's coming here to the United States. Well, with that going on, look at what happened to Canada's banks. And I think people started either um, trying to pull out their money and all of a sudden the banks just you know, their, their softwares or uh, crashed, whatever the case, who knows what it is. There were outages reported. And for anyone who doesn't know, banks carry less than a percent of all the money. So for example, for every dollar you have, they only have, I mean, a couple pennies, if that, to fulfill every dollar. So if you have a large, uh, population of people go to the bank and actually withdraw cash from their bank accounts they'll they'll cause a run on the banks and that will essentially um make people realize the scam that these banks really are <laughs> and what a coincidence that all these major banks Scotia bank outages rbc outages BMO outages, TD Canada Trust outages, right? When uh, there's this quote by Henry Ford, and he said, "If people were to realize the how the banking system actually works, there'd be a revolution by morning." And as people are encountering this kind of, uh, how should I say, tyranny, because that's what it really is, they'll start to wake up to the reality, to the facts, right? Now, I'm going to transition here, because how do we know that this is coming to an end, right? This bubble can't just keep on going, unless you introduce MMT, right? which is a, a school of thought in which you just print to suffice any needs that arise, right? But eventually, once you cross that uh, imaginary, ima uh, imaginary boundary in the sand, there's a loss of confidence in whatever currencies, right, that have been inflated away. Well... I've been harping on this channel that Georgelina Kristeva from the, the head of the IMF said that 2022 was going to be the year in which medicine policy would equal economic policy. And you're either in line or you're out of line and you're out of the group, right? You're no longer included. Well, I thought the goal is to, hey, let's get as many people we can, you know, injected with whatever's in that, you know, vial and threaten them with whatever policies 
and if they follow along, they, they can work. If not, then they can't. And with that, also, you, you get people incentivized. So you get them to do one thing, right? But also, you know that if, if you've been following closely, the market is in, in you know, the reality of the, of the financial world is, is really crumbling. And so it won't matter, right? Because a lot of people are going to lose their jobs anyways. And, and that's, I'm not saying that in a, in, a, in a way that, you know, I don't feel for the, those people because I do. But the reality of the situation is, hey, our financial economy was already bad before the pandemic started. And the fact that they made people take this medicine without knowing what's in it, you know, and these people might actually end up without a job anyways, just because the reality of the situation. So I hope I'm explaining myself clearly, but when the end all be all happens and this whole thing comes crashing down, people are going to be without jobs regardless if they took or didn't take the medicine. And if the medicine ends up having medium to long term effects, which it very might well will, people are, are, are going to look back on their decisions and it's, it's going to be a tough time, a tough time indeed. But anyways, I, I went on a little uh, rant there, got sidetracked. But the point is, we see that it's crumbling down and look no further than the stock market. We see here that a lot of major uh, uh, stocks, tech stocks, regular stocks, whatever, these major players, they're coming down. Massive, massive losses. PayPal, look, it, it wicked up to about a little over 300. It's at 111. That's You're telling me it just lost about six. 67 two thirds of its market cap, right? And that was all in you know a couple months or so. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? And it's that's not it, it might have some downside. I know Blockchain Backer uh, went ahead and showed a chart where it's gonna go a little down, do a little retrace, and then come back all the way down. Let me just show you. So this is what it looks like, folks. So let's it peaked over here around July of last year, right? And then it had something in September, went back up, down, back up. So it basically started going down since July of last year. And it's going down. Tesla, right? It, maybe it's going to range a little more, but this is probably going to start coming down. I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Amazon, right? Up here, went down. We'll see if it keeps ranging or just keeps coming down. Netflix, right? Bam, look at this. And these are, folks, this is not some small just correction. These are major percentages to the downside, right? And we're talking about 40, 50%. DocuSign is, is another one, right? So when you see these large caps start to lose some of that money, you might, you'll see it flow into the mid and small caps, and you'll see those go on their runs, right? Because it's a market that has to um, cycle through. And this is the end game. And we're seeing the final moments of this bubble come to an end. And that's why each decision you make, you have to make with great conviction right and and an example of that is the medicines if it goes against your conscience and what you believe then you know don't violate that and and i'm not taking sides for or against right i'm saying you do what you believe is the right thing to do Right, it can't violate your conscience, your 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 morality, your morals. Now there is data to support 
um, if, if it actually works or not, right? And from then you'll see, well, have we been lied to all along? Because you could go, this is when you have to use logic and you have to gather all the facts to make your decisions. You can't just go on a whim and say, oh, I feel this way. When I say don't violate your conscience and your morals, it has to be based on facts and, and real information, right? Not just on feeling. So don't get those two twisted. Anyway, at the end of the day, where this is where we're headed. It's it's not gonna it's not a pretty scenario, and it's coming down. So, as you watch this unfold, folks, be prepared. Be prepared, and that's why on this channel, I told myself that I would put out the news and and show people what what's coming down the pipeline. And and PayPal keeps on dropping. <laughs> So be ready, stay vigilant, be prepared. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Share this information with other people because I, I've been harping on this for, for months now. Half a year now. Hey, 2022 is a pivotal year. We have to be prepared. So without further ado, this is the Digital World Podcast. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.